My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, every year on 4th July, we celebrate the feast of Saint Elizabeth of Portugal. Elizabeth was a Spanish princess who was given in marriage to King Denis of Portugal. The parents of Elizabeth, King Peter III and Constance, named her Elizabeth after her grandmother. Elizabeth was a devout child and very pious and peaceful. From an early age, she was very peaceful and practiced Christian virtues. After her marriage, she had to undergo a lot of torture by her husband, who initially liked her, but then later started persecuting her. She was a devout mother and a holy woman. She went for mass every day. She fasted, did her penance and recited the prayers. When her husband caused her great discomfort, she bore them all. She had the patience to bear all of this and pray to the Lord, asking the Lord for the conversion of her husband. It was in the 40th year of marriage that her husband repented and 12 years later he died. Elizabeth was also known as a peacemaker because she could make peace among the family members and between her nation and other nations. It is said that in the year 1323, when her own son rebelled against his father, it was Elizabeth who reached out to the battlefield to bring peace between the two armies. And there are many such instances where Elizabeth brought peace between nations. After the death of her husband in the year 1335, she retired to a convent of poor Clares and became a Franciscan tertiary. She lovingly cared for the sick and for the poor. She always cared for the sick and the poor and would devote her time in reaching out to them and taking care of them. It was on 4th July 1336 that she succumbed to fever and died. She was a perfect model of humility, patience and peace. She was canonized by Pope Urban VIII in the year 1625. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the feast of Saint Elizabeth of Portugal, let us pray through intercession that we too become peacemakers in this world.